It's one of the most common things that kids complain about is their parents embarrassing them. And I think there's two kinds of embarrassment, though. One is good embarrassment, and one is bad embarrassment. And good embarrassment, you get to do. And this is what I include under good embarrassment. You can be the chaperone at their dance, and you can dance, and you can even separate kids who are inappropriately dancing. I think you can sing in the car, even when there are other children in the car. And I think you can hug them in public. You can brush their hair out of their eyes in public. That is all good embarrassment. It's all good. But then there's also bad embarrassment. I'm going to talk to you about two different kinds of bad embarrassment. One is the overshare. And that is when you are telling personal information about your child in front of other people. And that includes people at the grocery line or the checkout line. It includes your friends. It could include just random strangers on the street. And you're talking to, your, to these people about your child going through puberty not appropriate, and it's totally understandable that your kid would freak out on you. And then the other part is, is introducing their child by their deficits. So, you know, you might feel really concerned about how shy your child is, but to do this thing where you're introducing somebody to your kid and saying, oh, hi, this is, Tom this is Tommy, I want to introduce you to my son, he's really, really shy and really doesn't like to talk to people. Parents do that kind of stuff a lot, and there should be no surprise that your kid would then run away as fast as possible to get away from you.